So it's Monday morning. Randy just showed up. This was in a package that came to us. And we're gonna, when, Eric, <laughs> when Eric and Dad show up, we're gonna give them a little. <laughs> we're gonna scare them. Oh, God. <laughs> What is the purpose of it, you think? Well, that's slow. Contains gas under pressure, may explode if heated. Good morning, Doug. Oh! What? <laughs> 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 Good morning. Have you heard? I don't hear anything. <laughs> the first blast was so loud, I, my right ear is still recovering. Get loud. Plant crowd. <laughs> so that's what that these and nut companies are giving us now. Things that irritate me. <laughs> MK Syngenta. Morning. <laughs> well, we're here. Oh my. Thanks for the seat, Doug. Holy cow. That's thick. It's too big. This? Hey, nice jacket. Where'd you get it? Caitlin's dad. Who's Caitlin? Prettiest girl I know. Oh boy. Your mom? No. My age, though. That is true, though. I'll give that to mom. What are we doing today? Servicing the 790 for you. That's your job. That's got to be about done. Yeah, I did almost get that done. So not much. Sweet. Well, I got here way too early, then. <laughs> There's nothing to see here. You gonna work today? Hey, look at that. Yeah. Your family members. I gotta go so, to a third party to get shirts to work here. Yeah. His family members said that Larson Farms needs a big sweet shirt. I kinda like it. Just been so exhausted lately, you know. So, to explain what you did here wrong to cause me to have to hammer and beat everything straight. I don't think I ever ran this one, so you can't blame me for this one. It was the maintenance crew. Well, good thing I didn't work on this. No, I think what happened is I think the chain was too tight at some point, or... I can't remember which one the chain popped off of, and I think it bent this. What is he doing? You should fix that squealing noise. Look at this dirt. He's made such a mess. Come on, work the smoke off. I think it's a full moon. We should tie up. Oh, my. So he's gonna go take the dozer out and drive it around since frozen then thawed. Yeah. So the mud should come off real nice off the tracks. And he's gonna park it in its winter resting spot by the diesel barrel in the snowbank. I hope we don't have to push snow again this winter for the township. <laughs> so smoky in here. So tell them what you've been doing to the 790s, AF1. Okay, hold on. I can't focus when it's cold. Are we gonna let this out or what are we doing here? What? Woo! Okay, tell them what you've done to this thing. Wow. That's long list. I opened this door earlier. <laughs> so now we're done with that. Greased it. Greased. Changed engine oil, changed fuel filters, checked everything over, belt tensioners, oil levels on different drives. Yep. Chains you did. So it's ready to go now. One more filter and it's ready to go. Yeah. Needs to be washed. No. No, we're, we're just gonna go dirty. That's, that's fine. It's gonna go dirty. The tracks. Well, this one's good. That one's good. How you mean we got a warranty claim again? How old are these tracks? Oh, we got an oil leak, huh? Yeah, it's leaking. She's leaking. It's got out under here. So they're shot. <laughs> so dramatic. Should maybe clean out the sieves full of corn stalks. So we're in the rear of the combine, and you can see that those corn stalks up in there cuts down on the, uh, what would you call it, the flow of things. Right, there's not as much flow, Room. which is what we're trying to get here. It's good flow. Yeah, so the grain won't fall through the sieves quite as well when there's all that debris from corn leaves, corn sticks, you know, if we took and everything that, like that, and vice versa, and the, we got to clean this out once a year. Should we take the pre-cleaner out? I've heard that the, that is actually a, a quite a benefit, but I'm mm -hmm. I get hung up on the, the thought of they designed it to be there, so why wouldn't you right. leave it there? But I've heard from multiple people that taking that thing out right there 
it increases capacity. But I've yet to find the capacity of this machine, the so issue. I'm not too, <laughs> too concerned and about that. Our grain quality in the tank was phenomenal Good. once you got it set, so yep. maybe there's nothing to change. No, nope. I'm, I'm satisfied. So you got to get some cardboard and then crawl up in there. Close the sieves, though. First. Cardboard? I can't fit up there. Plywood? Well, that's what I was thinking. You stay on top of these little wind things. That's a lot of person to jam in between there. And I'm a lot of person. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what absolute utter disappointment looks like. I am uh, a foot short on my 50 foot spool. Isn't that sad? What's this for? Unload auger on the 9870 unload auger chain. It's a long one. It's all of 15 feet long. So the only thing you've worked on today, and you're coming up short. And I just took out like three years worth of dirt from this fuel pre-cleaner. Is this Randy's? Yeah. Randy's combine? Yeah. That goes in the other way, don't it? I know. But for transport. <laughs> I might have to just use like the connectors. Connect like 15 connectors together to make it work. Half links? Half links, yeah. So off to the old shop we go to see what we have for supplies up here. Leftover, maybe some miscellaneous chain. Like this here, business. What is this? what do we got here? We gotta make sure it's the same brand. What is this? So you know I'm using US chain and this is China. China. So I can't use that because one might stretch more than the other. And I think we know which one would. There's some US 60 heavy. I'm concerned though that this is US heavy, 60 heavy, and this is too, but I found it in a box full of this length of chains. They all were about like four feet long. Some was China, some is US. And I'm concerned that they're pre-cut for something. Right. But I wouldn't know what would they be cut for. So we're just gonna send it home. It's Doesn't the same matter. brand. I mean, it's US 60 heavy. It should, should ride. It's maybe just from over the years, that's what normally adds up, is left over on a roll. Yeah, yeah. From these chains, because it's all we ever use it for. So we're just gonna rock it. I would if there, unless there's a tag on one of them chains, tell me what it's for. Who would ever label something around here? I know. <laughs> what happened? We had to clean off the dozer. Was there a lot of mud? <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I needed. Eric, look what I found in the garbage. Yeah, this gun is junk. Remember all the motor brushes are shot in there and it's not worth rebuilding. Grandpa dug it back out and brought it back into his old shop, tried to hide it. But before we dispose of it, we are gonna test it to make sure it is that one. Yep, it's that one. How shall we destroy it? She's drunk now. What are you doing? Nothing. You are crushing your dream. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you have to make sure stuff is completely junk to get it out of the shop. And believe it or not, it's much stronger than it looks. Ooh, we're really engineering something here. You should put that thing right on the head and see if you can explode did. that. It wouldn't. Really? It come flinging out and almost hurt me. Well, that's too bad. You think he'll pick it out of the garbage now? He'll try. He'll order new parts. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're gonna call this pickup Weston. Weston now. Sure. Its name is Weston. Woo! That's illegal. It's bright. That's illegal. When it's on. When it's on, I suppose. What purpose is it if you don't use it? Yep. It's about right. <laughs> Once it warms up. I'm gonna pop these off. That exposes the two bolts that are on slides. Loosen them. You're gonna then lift it up and I'm gonna tighten them. Well, maybe it looks better this way. 
kind of looks meaner. It's a low rider. No, it's going to go back to normal. All right. Hey, remember that 15 16 I was looking for earlier today? Found it. Oh, it was you. It was, wasn't you? Along with my uh, socket that I've been looking for. And imagine that, it's in the 870 ripper box. So now that it's the end of the season, it's time to clean out the service truck so that we have our tools back in the shop for winter time. So basically find everything that's been lost for the last couple months. Look at this, from our breakfast sandwiches during harvest. Oh, dad's been looking for that too. <laughs> So all of our sockets, wrenches, pry bars, screwdrivers, a few of the air tools, hammer stuff, the basic tool set stays with the truck. Otherwise I just look through all the compartments, make sure there isn't something that somebody either misplaced or that I need to restock or put where it's supposed to be put. Yank them ropes which by the way, you can save 5% using our discount code in the description of this video. So this truck is actually something that it seems like everybody is fascinated with. And I think we touched on this truck during the machinery tour, but this is an old railroad truck. We did not build it with the double cab thing. We bought it that way. I don't know who did it, if someone did it, if it was a factory deal, I have no idea. Super nice for having tons of room for tools, parts, miscellaneous gear. Lots of guys to go to the field with. Nice to have knuckle boom. It doesn't lift all that much, but it is nice to have it there. Would be nice to have a cable driven one, but it is what it is. Doggo, been missing this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I found a lot of stuff in the back of the truck that I've been looking for. You sure mine aren't in there? That ain't mine. The other thing we do is take all air salt cans out, hand wipes, grease, anything that could freeze and really get wrecked, we try to remove from the truck. You haven't fixed the bumper. We're about to, so don't go anywhere. I need you. Ah, it's good. the only time I need you. Wow, there's a lot of tread on those ones. Oh, there's much less back here. Okay, Boy, man. that thing cleans up nice. <laughs> oh, man. Is Doug going home? I think so. What are you doing? You going home? One should what? always check the back seat of your vehicle every once in a while. What is that? It's got, is that a heart? What, you, what is this? That's a peach. Is this a peach? That's no peach. I don't want it. <laughs> Look at what it did. Where was it? Well, I was putting my straps back and... Oh! This is your mother that done this. It rusted it. I know, it's ate a big cancer You didn't hole. notice that there was rotten fruit smell in there. <laughs> Look under there. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> you seriously didn't notice that there was rotting fruit in your pickup? I'm taking it, where did the heart go? I gotta take this home for your mother. She's gonna have to answer for this. So okay. how do you feel about that? Don't. Pretty upset? Well, I'm surprised I didn't smell that. Must have happened in the summertime. That is really unbelievable. Yes, I'm driving my wife's pickup today because she's getting the oil change done on the Green Beast because the 4,500 mile trip, she needs an oil change. I hope that was enjoyable. Come on, Weston! Come on, Weston! Yeah, you're good. Okay, Weston, pull her ahead. You ever seen one of them things shoot forward at like 80 miles an hour? She's slipping. We're good. We're as safe as this half rickety junk pile is. I gotta <laughs> lay underneath that. <laughs> yeah, that one's mostly on. <laughs> Oh my, it's so cold in here now. Yeah, it's so like a Ford to be up on these, in this position, it's ridiculous. They call it the California squat. No, no, the Cali lean. Oh yeah. I've seen a lot of that. It's all the same. Yeah, didn't you do that to your truck? Well, it was clean. Good grief, did you even clean this? Living the dream. Get a new grill, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> Santa Claus gave me the grill. Oh, really? Well, I asked Santa for a this new was, new is... 9RX and I didn't get one. Maybe you're on the naughty list. 
Oh, there's no doubt about that. This was only 300 bucks. So how long will the LEDs last? Originally it was 1600 They had it on sale. On sale. From 1600 to 350 It was like 65% off. Okay, you ready? I don't know what's going to happen here. Are you going to hold it or am I going to hold it? Oh, this is going to fall down. I, I really do like it like this. I think we should leave it down. I want to see what it looks like up. Sounds like a lot this of This don't look slotted to me. It's slotted left to right, not up and down though. No, it's slotted up and down. This is not slotted up and down. Yes, it is. That is not slotted no, 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 up no, and the, down. The part that's on the other side. Okay, well, I'll believe you then. If you believe yourself, I believe you. Come look right here, child. So see that black strap? That's the head of the bolt. You want to do one side, one bolt, and I'll hit one bolt. You think? Okay, it's up all the way then. You think the bottom bolt is kind of holding it? Well, no wonder I think this looks so naturally ugly. It's the way it's supposed to be. You're the last person I want to work on this truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's all the way. It's all it'll go. I think we're gonna have to go to the dealership. Tighten that far left one there. I think the airbag just went off. Which one? Passenger. Is it tight? Yep. Twist it off a little bit. I don't want to go up any higher than that. Well, see this is rubber. Yeah, I know. The gap there. In yeah. The I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Rip I can uh, proudly say that I think we accomplished nothing. Oh, that looks a lot better in my mind. See, before I could see the top of this rubber, a little gap in there. Terrible spot for roadkill to get jammed in there. <laughs> Not a big fan of that, so I think we did good. I think we did really good. All right. You know what? I'm going home. Sure. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you on the good next... Good night, Weston. See you on the next episode of Fixing My Truck. <laughs>